Hi students, welcome to Sunil's tutorial. I'm Sunil Mirwani and today we will be doing this chapter called as Capital Structure Planning. We are doing illustration 9 today. We are doing illustration 9 today in the books of Orbit Technology. Now, let's see the sum. They are saying that Messrs. Orbit Technology Limited has the following capital structure. Equity share capital, let's see the capital structure. They have equity shares, they have 10% preference shares. Next, they have 10% debentures. Right. Now, existing plan. The existing plan is 1 crore. Then you have 20 lakhs. And then you have 60 lakhs. That's my existing plan. Right? Now, the company, the shares of the company are presently traded at 25 per share. It is expected that the company will earn a post tax profit of 20 lakh rupees. Income tax rate is assumed at 40 percent. The company wishes to raise another 50 lakhs from the following option. Issue new debentures and preference shares in equal proportion. Issue new debentures, plan 1. Equity shares are going to remain as it is, that's 1 crore. I want to issue 50 lakhs, I want to issue equal amount of preference shares and debentures. So if I divide 50 lakhs into two parts, that's going to be 25 lakhs each part. I have issued 20 lakhs of debentures. I issue another 25 lakhs. So that will make that as 45 lakhs. I already had 20 lakhs. I am issuing another 25 lakhs. Similarly, I had 60 lakhs of debentures. I am issuing another 25 lakhs. 60 plus 25. 85. That's my plan 1. Plan 2 says that issue preference shares to the extent of 25% and balance by way of debentures. Plan 2. Do not touch the equity. Leave that 1 crore as it is. Right? Out of 50 lakhs, issue uh, preference shares to the extent of 25%. Now 25% of 50 lakhs is 12 lakh 50 thousand. See the existing. I had 20 lakhs of preference shares. If I issue another 12 lakh 50 thousand, that means I will have 32 lakh 50 thousand. Right? If I am issuing out of 50 lakhs, if I am issuing 12 lakh 50 thousand of preference shares, that means I will be issuing 37 lakh 50 thousand worth debentures. 60 lakhs plus 37 lakhs is 97 lakh 50 thousand. That's my plan 2. Plan 3. The new debentures, issue new debentures carrying 14 percent interest. So your equity share capital remains as it is, preference shares remain as it is, debentures remain as it is, and you issue new 14% debentures of 50 lakhs. So your total capital now for the three plans after issuing, you already had a capital of 1 crore 80 lakhs plus another 50 lakhs, that is 2 crore 30 lakhs. So your capital, total capital is 2 crores 30 lakhs, 2 crore 30 lakhs, 2 crore 30 lakhs, that will be my total capital. Next. Which proposal will you select? Right? Now, let's see this. We need to calculate the EPS to decide the proposal. Calculation of EPS. You have EBIT first. Let's make the table. Less interest gives you EBT plus 
tax gives you EAT plus preference dividend gives you amount available divided by number of shares will give you EPS. Right? Now here guys in capital structure, what was the face value of each equity share? The face value of each equity share was you had 4 lakh shares they give you 4 lakh shares, I don't need the face value number of shares is directly given so I don't need to calculate plan 1, plan 2, plan 3 EBIT is given to you as the company's shares are traded at 25 per share it is expected that the company will earn a post tax profit of 20 lakhs now in this case they will you that the post tax profit will be 20 lakhs I will have to do the working note for this guys can you please see this calculation for EBIT right now we know that you have EBIT less interest will give you EBT less tax will give you EAT now the post tax profit is given to you as 20 lakhs this you are going to do for the existing plan your EAT is given to you as 20 lakhs right now the tax rate is given to you as 40% this is rupees this is percentage Let's assume that your EBT was 100%. Tax rate is given to you as 40%. If tax is 40, that means post tax my profit will be 60. Now I can easily get my tax 20 lakhs into 40 divided by 60. Someone please do 20 lakhs into 40 divided by 60. Guys, someone please give me the answer. I think it should be 13 lakh. Uh, 33,333. Yes, 13333. 13 lakh. 33,333. Okay. 0.33. So in that case, my EBT will be 33 lakhs. 33,333. Yes. Right. In my existing plan, I had 60 lakhs of debenture, which were carrying 15% interest. Someone please calculate 15% interest on 60 lakhs. 9 lakhs. 9 lakhs. Right? So in which case your EBIT will be 42 lakhs 33,333. Right? That's how you get EBIT when EAT is given to you. Now that I have EBIT, I can easily start with the sum. So my EBIT is 42 lakhs 33,333. 42 lakhs 33,333. 42 lakhs 33,333. Right? Now let's look at plan one. Plan one. There are debentures of 85 lakhs carrying an interest of 15 percent. Someone please calculate 15 percent on 85 lakhs. Someone please calculate 15 percent on 85 lakhs. 12 lakhs 75,000. Yes. Similarly, in plan 2, you have debentures of 97 lakh 50,000 carrying an interest of 15 percent. 97 lakh 50,000 carrying an interest of 15 percent. 14 lakh 60,000. Now in plan C we have a problem guys, be careful. You have 60 lakhs of debenture carrying 15% interest plus you have 50 lakhs of debenture carrying 14% interest. Someone first calculate 15% on 60 lakhs and tell me how much is that? 9 lakhs. So that 9 lakhs will remain as it is. Plus someone calculate 14% 7 lakh 50,000. So that means the total interest will be 16 lakh 50,000. Right? 16 lakh 50,000. Right? Subtract this. 
So in this case, you will get your EBT. Someone please get me the EBT. Twenty nine lakh fifty eight thousand three hundred and thirty three. Is that the answer? Someone please cross check. Twenty seven lakh seventy thousand eight hundred and thirty three. And twenty six lakh thirty three thousand three hundred and thirty three. Right? Tax rate is forty percent. So forty percent will be eleven lakh eighty three eighty three thousand three hundred and thirty three. This is going to be eleven lakh eight thousand three hundred and thirty three. And this is going to be ten lakh. Fifty-three thousand three hundred and thirty-three. Right. So in that case, this should be seventeen lakh seventy-five thousand. This should be eight sixteen lakh sixty-two thousand five hundred. And this should be fifteen lakh eighty thousand. Preference dividend. Now, in Plan A, you have preference share capital of 45 lakhs carrying 10% dividend. On 45 lakhs, 10% will be nothing but 4 lakh 50 thousand. In Plan B, you have preference share capital of 32 lakh 50 thousand carrying 10% dividend. So that will be 3 lakh 25 thousand. So, uh, for the third one, of uh, EBT is. Twenty-five lakhs eighty-three thousand. How can that be possible? When you have ten lakh. No, the other one. This one. Yeah. This is forty-two lakhs. Okay. Forty-two lakhs sixteen lakhs. This should be. Uh, okay. This is not sixteen lakh fifty thousand. Then this is sixteen lakh. So in that case, this will be twenty-six lakh thirty-three thousand. This should not be sixteen lakh fifty thousand. This should be sixteen lakhs. Fourteen percent on fifty lakhs is seven lakhs. Seven lakhs, right? Okay. Now I'm going to see this preference dividend. Preference dividend. Now, in the case of uh, C, you have preference share capital of twenty lakhs, on which ten percent that will be two lakhs. So your amount available to the equity shareholders will be thirteen lakh twenty-five thousand here, thirteen lakh thirty-seven thousand five hundred here, and thirteen lakh eighty thousand here. Right? Number of shares they've given you that you have four lakh shares. You haven't issued any more shares. In all the cases, you have four lakh shares. Right. So in that case, your EPS. So please help me calculate the EPS. You have to divide this by four lakhs. So this will be three point three one. This should be three point three four, and this should be three point four five. Right. The maximum EPS is for Plan Three. Hence, Plan Three should be selected. Right. Since plan three gives you maximum EPS, therefore plan three is selected. That finishes the sum. You stop here for the day. Thank you very much.